Spencer unforcing a game number three. I think this this time around it's a much more cleaner draft from RSG. It's uh, you know the conditions are much more clear compared to game number one, but still there is that potential from the Kaja and Farza of NXP. All right. Welcome to RSG Legends. and next play Evos now. Round number two. Next play Evos. Is this enough for them to force a game number three? Again, with RSG now sitting comfortably, it's next play Evos with the pressure on them to get those points. It's going to be difficult for them if they are going to drop 0 2 to right. RSG at this moment. Hmm. I'm going to be honest, weirded out by the first uh, first item of the Farsa. Usually we see an elegant gem rush, but Goyong DR opted to go for the boots. I, I think he just wants to uh, get out of the Valentina lane because it's such a horrible matchup. And go to XP. So this is going to provide Ding a lot of amp, uh, a lot of momentum on her side. But Nats, he was one step ahead, clearing the minion wave before the Farsa gets there. Yes, yeah, so speaking of steps, so maybe that's one way of having the uh, utilized Farsa on your end if you're in next play Evos. Because if you, or being on the other hand, oh. Iron Hook connecting to Goyong. Okay, that's the response. Here's the poke down from Rusko. Light. Okay, Ring of Order will connect. Stun. Will they finish the job? Oh! oh. Painful go, way to go. Seeing that one basic attack just flying towards you. I mean, uh, <laughs> that, that hook attempt was a little off from RSG, I would say. Man, I just imagine a meteor going straight to your face, but look at that joy. Just jumping with his own beat. Goyong now forced used and used that Feather Airstrike to retreat back. Okay, a different way for RSG. Oh, still, some, some form of inconsistency coming up from the Raiders. Oh, wow. There you go. A good hook from Light. Boyet, will he escape this? Okay, he's still sustaining it. And now it's still NXPE going back in their lanes. Okay, now see who's going to get an advantage first. Here is the XP laners. Uh, First up in the turtle, they're going to be the ones dancing for that. Both junglers right now all across the map. Boy, it's much closer though. Next play, Evo's going to get advantage for the first turtle of the game. That's like looking in a mirror in front of Ding. Now the all to the side of next play, Evo's. Who's going to be the game changer of this one? Look at that. Fair airstrike oh! being used to zone out. Now one ultimate will connect to next play, Evo's. But Bruce with the R goes out. Now it's just all about the turtle for this one. So it's a repeat of what happened in game one. RSG. Losing some uh, form of, I, I would say, sense of what their heroes are meant to do in the early game. And NXP just casually doing what their heroes are meant to do. Mm -hmm. Like sustaining the front line with the Baksha and, uh, you know, just soaking up the damage and the resources from RSG. And slowly making sure that they are able, a, they are able to uh, get the area back away from the Raiders. And this is very, very critical because Boyet DR is uh, getting a lot of momentum on this Baksha. And being able to uh, farm up um, up until the mid-game allows you to soak up the pressure from RSG. And that means more space, more farming space for Doming DR. Yep. Orange buff the pool is going to be taken away by Irad. Stolen under the hands of next play Evo. So it's going to be Boyet with... Uh, also had an orange buff. So it was just a trade. They needed to steal that as well as Boyet stole the orange on the side of RSG. Yep. Now RSG trying to make a play here in the mid. Positioning by them. Okay, push of death now. First initiation goes to next play. Eames, look at that to press. On to two RSG, takes the first. Oh. Now Emon using that ultimate connecting to one. Now Feather Airstrike being used as the last mercy for the team. But oh. RSG, Slate Philippines yep. is taking down three. So there goes the draft difference. Again, the firepower of RSG is just much higher compared to NXP. But Doming DR, again, consistently getting some trades. In the map, he was able to get some uh, gold out of the uh, the shields from the turrets. But this doesn't let RSG a uh, win out of the skirmish. Yeah, uh, and a good win at that. Uh, they had to call that Emman rotation from the gold lane to the mid for them to secure that. <laughs> Emman still ranked first in gold per yeah. game with 14,800. That's a three-week streak now, so RG's, uh, Emma's a rich man. Huh. I thought, yep. I thought Super Marco held the record. Okay, it's all about the record break on who's gonna get the gold on the graph, but who's gonna get this turtle in is still gonna be next play Evos. No way of their touching the members of Lars, you just purely objective. A different flavor for NXP. Yeah. Actually, it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's 
the GPM is super marvelous so they're going for minutes. But because RSG have played monstrous, monstrously long games, <laughs> it's more gold from yeah. uh, from Maybe Minecraft. because of the game one factor. Yeah, <laughs> and what happened in game one as well. Yeah. That's true. But definitely, if I'm not mistaken, in terms of GPM, that is super marvelous. So gold per minute. Yeah. Okay, that's one way. Look at that. Bloody Hunt will connect to Brusco. Now they're trying to punish him. Oh, look at that. Will the oh, ultimate be? No! Elman on a killing spree. RSG Slate Philippines. Looking for misposition members of NXP. Oh, yes, right now he goes in. Exhort now, slight NM and fighting it out. Doming holding back. No full engage there. Okay, still gonna be slowly, but look at the power right now of RSG. He's out of position. Members, oh. another one oh, for wow. a light. Okay, just, that's just an iron hook. Yeah. He is the fisherman, you know? <laughs> yeah, that felt more like a threat. It was just like, hey man, I'm still landing these. <laughs> now going back to what happened earlier. Yep, Brusco getting shut down by the damage output of Emma. And again, the firepower of RSG is insane. And NXP, the only way, the only uh, situation where you can fight is if RSG makes a misplay like this one. So is this the misplay that NXP is looking for now? They have taken one. Exort is down. Now RSG decides to retreat back in their turret. Meanwhile, NXP still eyeing to have a push with this wave. Oh, Hook did not connect onto Doming. The artist of Flicker used as well by Light. Okay, got an air strike, pressing down to one, now being pulled by Bruce with the Argoyo, secures the kill. Now under the turret, next play Evos is pushing the Raiders away, yep. and they take this turret. I like this, I like the way that NXP is playing at the moment. Compared to game number one, they were just waiting for RSG to do something, now they were the ones who forced out the issue against RSG. Ooh, right out of ding with just the thread of the hooks. RSG will get this turtle. It'll be the first one for them actually in this yeah. game. He was on the test. I mean, RSG, they might be happy with the things that are going on for them. Still have to be worried about the uh, Claude of NXPE. Oh, oh, Brusco pulled one. Now who's going to be the casualties? Brusco still safe, but you're not safe from Emman's hit. Now damage will connect onto the turret of next play. Emus now forcing one. BMI, but the do it. Who's going to be? Now making Emmon bleed was only the answer, but where is Ding? Ding is right down bottom, off camera now, they want to take one. Ding, the damage Ibaka. is three, oh. is three. Now two members of RSG is crashing down, now look at that, HP going down on Goyong, making it a triple, but here it is spawns in with the killing screen now. How do you catch someone who's nimble and quick? Now Ding and Boyd, they're trying to hold off and just clear this minion out. Yeah, RSG, they are getting kills, but it's away from the Claude, and NXP has been doing a fantastic job of putting the pressure away from doming DR. Even though the, these skills uh, the, these skills matter for Eman, he is getting a lot of damage with the items that he, are, uh, he is picking up with the uh, Fury Hammer, Malefic Roar, and the impending BOD. RSG needs to start playing against NXP's squad. They need to put the pressure on the right place. Yeah, but the pressure on Doming. At the same time, they need to watch out for those surprisingly late entry responses by next play Evos. Uh, hence why M and Light and Exort were all caught out in the mid lane. They thought they were safe from harm, but yeah. Ding just came out of nowhere. Like. 20 seconds after the engagement yeah. was already passed. Brusco and uh, Ding is doing a fantastic a fantastic job of just attracting attention from RSG. Again, as you've mentioned, Ding uh, and Boyet DR specifically has, uh, has done so many late re-entries yeah. for NXP. And you would really want to commend Brusco for the uh, selfless activity that he has been doing in this game here for NXP. Literally selfless because he has been throwing himself over yeah. to RSG. He was like, Take me, brother. <laughs> yeah, like, Take me. Like, I, I, I will be the sponge. I will get info. I will eat up all the damage. But I've already done my job. Y'all yeah. just follow up. And NXP, credit to them. They've been following it up. Yeah, the divine yes. judgment comes later. Yeah, the divine judgment comes later. Sponge Bruce. Sponge Bruce go. Sponge DR. Yeah, Sponge Bruce DR. Oh, oh Ira, the damage. There's the focus on the Doming you were looking for, Midnight. Sorry, <laughs> how, how are you just talking about things? How, how does that happen? Like a joy? Chasing a claw with a sprint? I mean... Mm. Okay, a different approach. Conceal used to escape. Now Bruce goes is trying to... Oh, who's gonna get this Lord? Who's gonna be? Oh! It's Boyet securing the objective. Now it's gonna be action for RSG. Boyet DR on the other hand is looking for the kill. Nats escapes with a slither of health. Now RSG is backing down. But the Lord now is with NXPE with a 2k gold lead. Oh, it seems Ira did not have the retribution ready for yep. him. I believe he used it when he was uh, duking it out with Doming. Yep. And 
with that information, next play Evo just went ahead and got that lore. Yeah, and welcome to uh, the, the Claude Land, where in uh, come the late game, he just farms much faster than anybody. He is now richer, officially richer than Eman. And I would like to point out that RSG, even though this draft is in inherently good against Farsa, nobody is playing like it because. Goyong DR has been able to use Feathered Air Strike three times in a row now, wherein nobody is attempting to at least close the gap against the Farsa. So that is what is breaking the game here for RSG. All the focus are on Boy and DR during that uh, that Lord take. But Tomek, oh my gosh, look at the damage, damage from Ira. From Ira is just mad, pure mad. Look at that Bruce with the flicker. Will they be able to secure that kill? On to Erad, Feather Airstrike has been committed as well. Counterplay. Okay, counterplay. Now, what's the game plan for Exor? Just three members of RSG. Oh, the oh land. Okay, and that's rolling out for safety here. Nats is saying, I'm going to take you by myself. Look at that. Nats pushing one, pushing into their space. And X play. Oh, the whole oh, another, another one. one. Another one says like, but he catches oh, thing. Thing. Oh, look at that. Finals just connecting with when there's no feather wow. to defend or to burst down. But next play, Evo storming. Taking down one and Ding making it two. Oh, I think the hesitation was there from RSG. They did not feel like they have enough damage to take out Ding. Ding. So it's, it was kind of half assed from yeah. RSG. Yeah, I couldn't fully commit onto that one. Uh, but oh, ouch, 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 what, what? Irad, what oh. is happening? His damage is off the roof right now, Doming DR. Doming DR could be the next kill of dash? Irad. Dash, no longer oh. there, my judgment. Vengeance, so oh. now the final slash, Irad takes the fall. Now Ding, DR, and XP still using his ways to push back. I mean, oh, that's goodness. a problem though for, uh, for RSG and also for NXP. I mean, the damage is off the roof. Uh, of the roof for uh, Irad, but the sustain is not there. Like, the, the joy cannot sustain the fight for RSG. So, NXPE gets a, uh, a form of idea here wherein the way you approach fight, especially with the Lord coming up in 20 seconds, the way you approach this fight is you go all in against RSG. Nobody on their side can actually sustain, and that also provides a problem for Nance. Do you sustain frontline or do you threaten the Farsa? Yeah, it puts a lot of pressure on that XP laner of RSG. Very crucial call, and it needs to be the right one. It, it'll be rare that in both, in any scenario, both decisions made would be the right one. It's either or. Yeah. Uh, for Nas. So now next play Evo, maybe that's why they're playing a little bit more confidently here. Look at the Lord getting just destroyed. Troy, yeah. Wow. Dolmen oh. with the damage. That's the vengeance connecting. Now Nats trying to pull off or push away Ding out. That's the stun, that's the poke from Goyoung. Hope oh, Iron Hook will not connect, but it is still a clash. Look at that Dominion card from the back line of RSG. What's gonna be for the Raiders now? It's next play Eva's turn to fight back. RSG is still holding the defense, but can they still make it? Nats is taking oh. down Doming! Irad, a cruise Irad. pick up now. Irad is trying to take another one and two, but can he let what? Bruce oh, go safe? Wow. No, he says, I'm gonna take it this double. And two members right now, Fedex, you're in trouble. Oh, look at this Joy holding on for RSG. Irad, Nats. The next sword finally takes down Boyet, and just when we thought it would be a massive win for NXPE, they get wiped out. Yeah, they managed to take out the Claude, even though the Brody was taken out. NXPE, after the initial Lord take, they didn't have enough resources, and again, that crucial kill onto Claude shuts down the team fight here for the Tigers. And with you know, with Joy being alive, the secondary damage dealer of RSG can solo NXPE. Back line destroyer. Irad. It's just been a menace for Nexley. He was Full like, yeah. damage with the genius one, yeah. Holy Crystal. So that's why he went with the genius one in the whole uh, Holy Crystal next. Uh, that's where the damage amplification came in. And the uh, come later the uh, items or the, the magic defenses from uh, NXPE, it was answered up with the glowing one. Higher HPs uh, uh, you get. More damage output coming up from the uh, glowing one, and he doesn't mind playing into the uh, the defenses yep. of NXPE because it's HP based, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I, I love the fact that he didn't go for the divine blade; he went for the uh, the wings. Okay, Exort is going to be the one to fall down. The damage will connect from Boy at the R now. Next play Evos, but look at Irad oh. from the back line of next play Evos. Now oh, look at the damage, but look at that Nats with the reinforcement. Okay, so oh, that by the Emma oh, oh. taking down Ding! Doming as well with an exchange of one to one. Now what's gonna be? What's gonna be for next play was now? RSG has the border, has the wave, 
and what's it going to be for the Neon Tigers? Oh, that was such a cute play from Goyong. It was like, okay, if you're going to dance on the land, Don, I'm going to be just over the cliff. You cannot dance over the cliff. Uh, and, and very clutch that Brusco actually got the Divine Judgment onto Irad. Because you saw Ooh. he was waiting for that perfect moment as Boy it goes in. Oh, 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 line with the hook. Ouch! Oh, oh, you're oh, ouch! What? Talk about outplay! That is tag team right on to RSG! They were trying to chase down! <laughs> torn apart memory, tears Ow. apart Boyet. Ow. I mean, there's no explanation there. RSG is straight out outplayed. Yeah. Boyet at that moment, the hook from Light connected, and it was, uh, and it was a beautiful sequence from the Brody as well. Like two hits, one stack, torn apart memory, deletes the Baksha. Ow. Uh, once again, both teams still neck and neck. 16 minutes now, though. Let's see if next play Evil can actually force back hard if you win this Lord. King, will he be the one to change the tides of this red tree battle? Still 50 50. Who secures it? It's Irad. No way that he wants to contest, but there's a conceal and a retreat Ooh, back weird. for that's RSG. Weird. Okay. That's well. <laughs> Give merits to RSG. They knew they knew that they didn't have better air strike, but it's kind of a greedy play coming up from the Raiders. Like they've gotten themselves the Lord, and they still want to fight. And NXP, they had the tools to uh, disengage with the uh, the the wheels just turning for Boy TR, the wings by wings of Goyong, and of course the uh, the flickers are also uh, there for NXP. But it could have been uh, it could have been an awesome play from RSG if they managed to uh, close the gap against NXP. But they still have the Lord to work with, so. It is a possibility that NXP just delays the game onto Arthur here, but boy it! Okay, that's a good hook onto the Chaos, but Irad is here. But Nats oh, nuts. onto he the stick stick. Now he's taken down boy and oh. Emma connecting the Torn Apart memory. That damage onto RSG. Final slash, buying time for NXP. Oh, Look at that, Divine Judgment trying to buy time oh, for the kill. Stolen. Look at that, stolen right away! Ding, DR still sustaining this fight. Woo. And they're falling back to get that regen in. RSG trade of one to one against any next play Evos. That is a jungler for a Rome. I mean, if you're RSG, you take a W. Yeah. DJ for DJ Ding, able to get away though just in time, but trades all throughout. Very favorable for RSG. Two base turrets destroyed. Only two turrets remain on the side of next play Evos. Both of them on the bottom side. And as Ira continues to dance the night away, as that joy. You know, man, that is just completely accurate. You know, Joy's the only here who has has her own. Yeah. Oh, there's a bull though. Sound old. Irad, oh no, being punished. Oh no. And the immortality will be the one to save him, but the final slash! Oh, what? 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 The final slash helps Irad get away, and yep. Ding now will get punished. Immortality pops, so does he. Ding falls. Uh, let, me, let me just say, Irad. After Immortality, he didn't buy Truncheon. He bought Rose Gold, the new passive. When he procs the shield, more movement speed. And that was, that's why he was able to get out. And now he buys the Winter Truncheon. Itemization up the wazoo. Let me double check that. I, I'm pretty sure I saw Rose Gold there. And he was walking really, really fast. Oh. Fast hands. Man. Uh, fi the final. It was Rose Gold. It was. My goodness, the saving Ira, grace. that play you just pulled off now. But that's a hook coming in by Light. No, forced out the flicker. But I just, I just want to recover from the outplay, Irad. <laughs> You're a menace. How do you manage to be safe by the other team's final slash? <laughs> Crazy. But now RSG's on the almost 6K. 18 to 18 score points. Yeah, very, very close. 5.7k gold lead on the side of RSG. However, you are still up against a claw. Doming DR from 0 2 2. Now he is 3 2 5. He hasn't died yet. And his part participation in the team fights are still crucial. However, RSG are matching up in terms of damage output. But the question is how long can you keep up? Because NXP, they still have a Kaja. However, Exort has his own. Okay, good pull. But nobody checked on light on a concealed move. Now what's the mode for RSG? Oh, go Target on to Doming! Wow. Now the Bloody Hunt will connect! First and down one, no Doming. DR tries to hold off, but now who's gonna get the Lord? Now Exort secures for it, no jungle for next play Evos. What's the call now for oh, that Winter Truncheon? Oh. is not gonna be safe for this one. Brusco secures the kill. And that's gonna be RSG continuing this fight. A terrify on to Ding. Ding trying to hold on as Emma is just free hitting the Lord for RSG's late. 
Brusco decides to check it. Ding still dancing. Oh, Ding still alive. Come on, will he reset? Will he secure? Who cool. can't stay close enough? It goes to the hands of RSG. And now, Brusco, Ding, and Domeng will try to run, but here comes Domeng. Will he? Can he? He does! Blazing to win! Wind of nature! Yes, he turned it around with the wind of nature! Keeps Zeman alive! Emon, immortality pop! Emon is holding on for dear life for the side of RSG! It's Domeng who falls! And it's just Brusco and Boyet and Goyong who is left! for NXP to defend and hold on. They got outnumbered here for NXP and RSG rushing towards the Farsa. Again, as I mentioned, OSX, nobody checked the movement of light. And taking down the Farsa was a big win condition with NXP. They can still defend, however. Torn apart memories, just getting through the nerves of next play Evo. Look at that nuts. Popping out the immortality still. He's Ooh. still safe. He's yeah. still safe, but Eren on the other hand, right on the middle of three of NXT next week, was now also the base Eman, Eman, now being suppressed, oh, but Eren, Eren. Eren. Oh, to the base, securing the win of a 